Hello, I'm not actually Morgan Freeman. Millions of years ago, dinosaurs ruled the earth. At the height of their empire, they were visited by an alien race and given a choice. Join the Galactic Federation or be exterminated. The reptilians refused to bow before the gray aliens who then redirected a comet to wipe out the fledgling species. Few reptilians survived, taking refuge deep in the center of the Earth. The arrival of a multidimensional being, the Infinity Dragon, produced a resurgence in strength among the reptilians, inspiring them to resurface from the belly of the planet only to find a new race dominating the planet's surface, the humans. The reptilians quickly developed an appetite for human and realized the best way to control this new food source was to enslave them through propaganda and manipulation from the shadows of their underground lair, Vril. They were not without competition. In their absence, the gray aliens had conquered the humans in the Far East. The reptilians, in an effort to protect their home planet from these insurgents, started an ongoing conflict, the War of the Cold Bloods. Using mankind as pawns in their planetary game of chess, the species vied for control of the Earth. The ego of humankind made them easy to manipulate for centuries. But with the help of the amphibians, a distant relative species of the reptilians, they became harder to control. As the humans in the West obsessed over notions of justice and quality of life, the greys slowly increased their production power in the East. This shift in power has led to a recent reorganization of the reptilian hierarchy the addition of the first female reptilian to the Council of Reptilian Overlords. Sorry I'm late, my head is pounding. I've got a huge project. I gotta get this thing on ice ASAP. You know what they say about big feet? <laughs> Lots of meat. This isn't for food, Vlad. I hunt for sport. She's gonna make a lovely trophy. Amphibian trophy is a decapitated cryptid. Reptilian trophy is a landmass the size of Russia. Reptilians plus one. I am no longer amphibian. You can't renounce your race, dick. You will always be amphibian. Me? Reptilian. Okay, one, two, three. All eyes on me. No, see, I don't identify as amphibian, and I can change my identity any way I damn well please. No, you can't change race. But you can change your gender if you'd like. You can be girl or guy girl or girl guy. Or an attentive listener. Everyone knows there are only two genders. Fine. You can be a girl then, Dick. And who knows, maybe in 10 years it'll be okay to change your race and you can be hippopotamus or triangle, but you will never be reptilian. Guys. I don't know if that's still Dick's preferred pronoun. Vlad, Dick. I just got forecasts from our experts. Current food production will be inadequate to keep feeding the humans by the end of the year. I don't care about the human. What do you eat, Vlad? Oh, oh, I care a little I about the I have a solution human. I want to discuss. Our food geneticists at Consato have been working on a project. They think they can grow animals on trees. It will photosynthesize meat production. It could be incredibly efficient, sustainable. I'm not into this whole green thing. It's not a green thing, Dick. It's science. Nah, you see, you're an increased supply kind of girl, and I'm a decreased demand kind of guy. You want sustainability? I've got this missile I've been itching to use. 
we could wipe out almost 80% of China. We can't fire a missile at China, Dick. Think of the repercussions. Think about 20% of the repercussions. That's not even our territory. That's the Grey's territory. And they don't have a problem feeding their humans, only we do. I don't like your plan, Lily. I'll come up with better plan. Best plan. But right now, my head is so filled with big project. Huge project. I go finish that, then I give you best plan. The Vlad plan. <sighs> well, that was to be expected. Dick, any ideas you'd like to contribute? This missile doesn't have to be for China. This missile could have 75% of Canada's name all over it. Ideas that don't involve this particular missile. No. Fine. I'll just follow up with Consanto and see if we can start this program. Sure, good, grand. I gotta bring this Sasquatch into my taxidermist topside. Meeting adjourned, then. Damn it, not my big foot! He's everywhere. Wait! What's this? A fly. The amphibians. <laughs> See that, John? That's what saving the world looks like. Making me tear up. We could win a Nobel Prize for this. Maybe they'll make a movie one day and we'll win an Oscar. I could be played by Chris Farley. Chris Farley's dead, man. Ah, it's terrible news. Well, I could be played by Peter Dinklage. No, man. Well, I'd give him a body double. Pretty hot day today, isn't it? Yep. Oh, Jenny, this fried chicken is delectable. Oh, honey, I love you so much. Holy holla, you see that, Vaughn? Looks like man be meddling in Mother Nature's work again. Did you vote for this? I sure as hell didn't. Hell nah, I voted for the Green Party. Oh, shit, maybe I did vote for this. Jesus Christ, now they're trampling poor picnickers. What good is democracy if you can't even prevent an invasion of murderous trees? You know we put in our body, Consanto is shoddy. You're right, you know we put in our body. <laughs> Yellow. Hi, Dick. I need your help with something. Did your tree plan backfire? No, no. Well, the trees escaped, but... All right, here's what you do. Track down the trees, burn them to the ground. Then we stage a genocide. Boom. Less people, less food needed. We won't even have to use my missile. You tried that with the Jews, Dick. Remember? The humans freaked out. Well, it doesn't have to be Jews. It's just tradition. Ugh. Dick, I have this under control. Goddamn commies. Yeah, they've been here all week. They obviously don't have jobs. This, this is why I called you, Dick. These anti-GMO rallies are becoming a nuisance. I reckon the amphibians are behind the whole movement. Why don't you make a little visit to your old friends? See if we can strike a deal to get this Consanto chatter to go away? Why don't you just send the monkey in to talk to them? He's great at distracting the humans. I got him on an executive timeout right now. Tweets only. Fine. I can talk to the amphibians for you. I'm on my way there anyway. For what? The elevator malfunctioned on my way topside. I think that rebel group of amphibians were trying to kill me. The Totobon? Yes, the Totobon. Are you alright? No, 
My Sasquatch organs are plastered all over the eastern elevator, and if I don't bag another this afternoon, I have to wait another 20 years for the end of the next hibernation. Ew. Just be careful with the amphibians. Careful? They should be careful with me. Hello, gentlemen. My name's Tucker. I'm with the EPA. Have you guys seen anything unusual around here? We don't trust the EPA. Actually, I work for Consanto. We don't trust them either. Look, I just need to ask you a few questions. You know, our life experiences have led us to a deep distrust of large institutions with multi-level bureaucracies. So while you seem like a perfectly nice young man, you'll have to understand our wariness at your inquisitiveness. Uh, now hold on, Ritter. Maybe Tucker here can help us. Are you here about those trees? Yes, I am. So you saw them. Do they seem vicious to you at all? Nah, they seem to be having a grand old time. They was gangbanging. They did trample a couple picnickers, but hard to blame them caught in the throes of passion. Can you give me any more information on the trees? Anything that stood out at all? We ain't answering no more questions till you tell us how you're gonna stop these things from invading our county. I don't have the answers to your questions. The only plan we have in motion currently is quarantine. I'll have to ask you to evacuate the area immediately. I'll be damned if a mid-level employee of a multinational conglomerate is going to get me to vacate my property over a couple of gangbanging trees. Well, we can't actually force you to leave. You're goddamn right you can't. All right, then. Thank you both for your time. Don't you tread on us, Tucker. I hear you have some animal fun times happening in America right now. Where was my invite? There was no invite, Vlad, because I don't want you here. What's that noise? Oh, that? That's my big project. Huge project. Top secret. Sounds like you can't tell me about it then. That's not why I called. I called because I came up with best plan for your problem. Oh, that is entirely unnecessary. Besides, I don't want to distract you from your huge project. No, my huge project is already great success for Mother Russia, so I help you. See, the problem is, you give the humans too many choices. Between the macaroni cheese, the animal style Krispy Kreme, it makes them fat, it makes them angry. Look at Russia, we're skinny. You know why? Because I choose what we eat. Oh yeah, bread lines were wildly successful. What you mean, they work great. Never ran out of bread. People were starving. Not starving. They had bread. You want to eat? Here's some bread. You stand in line, you get the bread. That's my great plan. Limit the choices. Limit the choices. You know, that's actually not half bad. Don't mention it. Making best plans is like effortless for me. Like, remember that time you came home and found I had taken Crimea? That was my plan. Remember that time you sold all of Alaska for seven million dollars? Also your plan. Ugh. Lilith? I am calling from Consanto. I'm a representative of Mr. Bauman. He requests you meet him at HQ as soon as possible. When can you be here? As soon as I finish lunch. Within the hour. Hold. Step aside, Freedom Frogs. I'm here to speak to Elder Splash. Then see that. The great traitor Brash. Slithering like a true snake in the grass. How does a lizard lover like you assume he is the right to speak to our leader unannounced? He'll see me. Oh, will he? Elder Splash, leader of the amphibians, arch rivals of the scaly skin savages you serve. You think that because we believe in the progressive values of equality and dignity that our chief would extend those rights to a traitor like you? Why are you talking like that? It makes him feel more socialist. You know the French eat you. I know that things have been tilted in your master's favor for quite some time now, but we amphibians, the friendly earth-loving race who want all creatures to live on this planet peacefully, are not quite the pushovers you think we are. Let me in, or I will kill you. All right, you can pass. Hello, Mr. Bauman. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ta-da! Rothschild? Don't you love my new outfit? I had it made yesterday. 
Now, I bet you're wondering what I'm doing here, and let me help you. I'm taking over this project from here on out. What gives you the right? The right? Oh, no, 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 my dear. There are no rights. There is but the world economy, and we are its humble servants, as much as the greys, the amphibians, or some human scum. The balance, supply and demand, you have upset it. And as its servant, I have used my shell company, Bear, to purchase Consanto, murder the CEO, and make him into a lovely human suit, to restore the natural world order. I was trying to make the system more efficient. When pigs are photosynthesizing, who buys the grains? What if we just limit the options? Offer them bread, a uh, chicken, things that are healthy. Healthy people are happy people. Happy people don't buy shit they don't need, so that's the rest of the economy. Okay. So we need to eradicate the trees before they cause any more damage to the market while replacing the product we lost from the supply chain. Soldiers to plowshares. Bravo! I'm impressed, Miss Lilith. I introduced to you the Corn Packer 3000. You just click this button here, and the Corn Packer gets to work, quickly pushing soldiers out of its corn hole, up there. What the hell are those? They are bioengineered killing machines. I call them corn people. Are they self-aware? Shh, Lilith. Wait! What are we? Oh, shucks. We are just people, but we are just corn. Oh, my corn packer 4000! What am I? What am I? What are we? We are, are we? corn people. We're corn people? Corn people. <laughs> Corn people, corn people, There's corn a sign, people, Lilith. Corn people, corn The slippery one, who has left his people for the enemy. You come here for what exactly? To make peace with the Lord of the Flies? No, no, there was an assassination attempt on my life. Someone tampered with the elevator. Someone with an appetite for flies. Are you insinuating that we amphibians have attacked a member of the reptilians? Yes. And your sabotage was cowardly, and now I have to drag my ass out into this shithole of a swamp to call you all a pack of tadpole pussies. But you're a toad! Traitor! This was your home! Shut up! Shut up! I'm talking, guys! Everybody! Everybody shut up! It was not us who attempted to kill you. We are a peaceful species, and that is not changed. And the Totoban? They do not represent us, and I do not represent them. Fine. Whatever you say. I have another bit of business as well. We are growing tired of your anti-GMO rallies and crowds. While you certainly have riled up the humans, what can it possibly accomplish for you? That is the problem with you reptilians. You lack all empathy. We simply want a life that coexists with this planet. Coexisting means keeping the humans fed. Like it or not, GMOs do just that. You call what you make through corporate puppet Consanto food? You are poisoning the humans, sedating them through food, just like you do with television, with sports, drugs, McDonald's. The humans like those things. It's called freedom. It's called... You should be ashamed of yourselves. The humans should be ashamed of themselves. Look, are you willing to knock off the protests for a bit or not? Hell no! These protests have the humans realizing their potential to impact their own world again. Invigorated in a way we haven't seen since the 60s. You expect us to start caving now? We have the momentum. Whatever. Egg fuckers. All of your grandfathers fucked eggs!
see, Lilith? That went swimmingly. Phase one complete. Phase one? First we gonna rock, then we gonna roll. What the hell? We have to stop him. He's destroying our corn soldiers. He is commencing phase two. Really, Rothschild? You brought Vlad in behind my back. Yes. We did pay handsomely. I thought it would be a bit less theatrical, but uh, well done, Vlad. This was my operation. This is Consanto's business. If you want to do something, you have to run it through your Congress. Oh, wait! They're on my payroll. Prepare to become Cornbread! Vlad Bread Plan, great success! He's right, you know. Now we can just put corn in everything. Corn meal, canned corn, corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, corn bread, corn beer, moonshine, corn cereal, creamed corn, corn pudding, fritos, and just plain old corn. And that is how you turn an idea into profit. Humans will never tell the difference between the real corn and the corn that came out of our corn hole. You guys planned all this without me? Oh, don't be so sensitive, Lilith. Oh, I get it. It's a man's game. Well, quite right. Fuck you, Leon. Oh, fuck me? No, 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 no. Fuck you. Fuck you, Leon. Oh, fuck you twice. Fuck you so many times. Fuck I you fucking hate to the moon and back times infinity plus two. Oh. Fuck men. Adieu, traitor. Ah! Herer. Oh, herer. Later, day. The Weptilians you swerve mistreat you. They treat you bad. Who was it that tried to sabotage your elevator? To them you are nothing but a riddle frog. Forget your traitorous reptilian past. Join the side of the gray aliens, the side of the universe. We can make you a senator, a real senator, for the Galactic Federation. We are waiting for you. Medi! Medi! I'm going to need a medic! It's all right, ma'am. Doctor's on his way. Did you lick anyone's skin while you were in there? That won't be necessary. I'm, I'm leaving. I am swimming up a stream of male-dominated self-interest. There seems to be no path to create meaningful change without massive casualties and destruction. Yeah, it's a bummer, isn't it? Well, that's entropy for you. No matter what you do, the universe devolves into chaos. The patriarchy is a symptom of entropy. Men just want to get theirs before their penises wither. I'm sorry, Lil. Nothing's going to get them to forget about their decaying genitals and help to save your species. Not even those comically large breasts you got. Nobody's noticed you shouldn't have those. A reptile with mammary glands? You want a conspiracy? I think that you were created by two middle-aged male humans living out some weird teenage fantasy. Don't you care about the plight of our species? Even a little bit? You've been with the reptilians for how long now? Oh, don't remind me. Experiencing time linearly is torturous. That's why they imprison my species in the third dimension. And of course I care, you reptilians. You're like my little cave people. Well, I've given you enough help. By the time you carve out a place in the universe on your own. Thought you could offer useful insight, a fresh perspective. Listen, Lilith, it may not seem like it, but I'm helping you. By not helping you. You've been running to your infinity, Daddy, in times of trouble since the Cretaceous period. Has it ever been this bad? I mean, maybe you're losing your grip on your planet and it is sliding into the hands of a galactic bureaucracy. Maybe. Well, the human meat supply is at an all-time high, the climate is changing to a reptilian-friendly temperature, and mass media is making propaganda easier to disseminate and more fun to watch. Why not grab some popcorn and enjoy the ride? Spoiler alert for the season finale, the sun... Well, swallows the planet. And where will you go if this planet no longer exists? Probably Kepler 186F. They have a race of mollusks that telepathically communicate the galaxy's most hauntingly beautiful music. I think they also have some slug games over there. Your virtual catharsis makes me sick. I'm not going to roll over and allow the inevitable end of existence to stop me from trying to make things better now. I am a reptilian. We are strong, noble, powerful species. And while eventually the universe will swallow itself, I am going to do everything in my power to ensure that my tribe sees that day. So you don't need me. And hey, if all goes to shit, I'll bring you to Kepler-186F with me. We'll listen to some sweet molest tunes. 
can't renounce your race, Dick. You will always be amphibian. All of your grandfather's fucked eggs! It was not us who attempted to kill you. Who was it that tried to sabotage your elevator? jobs. I watched my brothers die during the War of Consanto, and for what? So you could slave away doing their bidding? Well, your food, your their food, but where does it all end? Sometimes I feel like... I don't know. Maybe we're all corn people. 